you guys are sitting uh everybody is dressed up in the uh the um uh, high class 1850s 1860s uh uh, back east type clothes with the, the uh, thin pinstripes and stuff on them sitting around in the uh, uh, thing except for Freddie who's got a small table outside and uh, there's a trough nearby and he's wearing a helmet uh, that's a bucket upside down and it has like a big growly face mouth on it and two uneven eye holes and uh, you two are meanwhile sitting inside of the uh, 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 thing and uh, looks like you're getting ready to uh, sit around and uh, start talking and as that happens freddie you see an unarmed wild-eyed guy running up toward you like i can't imagine to be bonged on the head <laughs> All right, Freddie just sits there resolutely. The guy why, comes. Why up. are we dressed like this? Are you in the embassy? embassy? Yeah, but I didn't know we had to dress in a certain way to be in the embassy. I uh, you you we didn't dress yourself this way. That, that's the way we've appeared. I don't dress that way anymore. I'm afraid. That's that's fine. You can change clothes in a bit. But first, what happens is, as you're like looking at your clothes in disgust, um, the some guy runs up. And he's got uh, kind of a, a blackish hair with some white streaks, like he's an older guy. He comes over and grabs the windowsill and he looks in. He goes, McKay, you've got to wake up. The experiment has gone out of control. If you don't wake up soon, we may never be able to get you out of the coma. And at this point, his head explodes like an overripe watermelon. Frames of glue, goose splash dramatically all over Joshua as well as uh, uh, Kinley, who didn't like his clothes anyway. Anybody who doesn't have human gore and or gross out maxed out, please make a sanity roll. Can I take so the fun? window was open then, was it? It, it always <laughs> is, because Freddy has to sit out fucking side. <laughs> Can I taste the blood? Is it real? Uh, you, you can't really taste anything from inside of your bucket right now. Well, I can put my hand underneath the bucket and... Oh well, uh, I'll get I'll get back to you in a second. Your okay. your action next round will be to reach out and taste some of the blood. Got it. Okay. Uh, the, human gore, gross. Out. Let me just check. Is it is it one point if we make it? Correct. Good. Good. Right. Says Kenley slowly maxing that shit out. <laughs> human gore. How have you not maxed it out? <laughs> Don't know. Twelve, Twelve out of twenty. I've actually got more in cold bloody killing than I have in that. <laughs> um, right. Next round, you guys hear the retort of a rifle. Uh, Freddy's first thing is he dips his finger into blood as the corpse collapses next to him and tastes it under his thing. What are you doing, uh, Pete? Um, I'm going to the window to see if I can see who right, shot. You spring up and look out the window. Where are you doing, Kinley? Oh, this is fancy. <laughs> <laughs> your card. That's beautiful. Right. And uh, let's see. Uh, McKay, go ahead and give me a, uh, a spot roll at full. I know that your spot's no good, and you'll probably never make this. Yep. There we go. Minus 30. Uh, just so you know, I'm also playing a training time. Ooh. Training time, sexy, sexy training time. Standing on the uh, wall of the uh, uh, embassy grounds that's probably about 100 meters away, you see this guy with a rifle. <laughs> and next round. <laughs> uh, does it taste like blood, by the way? Uh, give me a taste roll at plus 20. Uh, at plus 20, I made it. Oh, yes. Okay. How you missed it. And next round, as the PCs may do combative stuff, we'll see what happens. Uh, acrobatics is approved. Heroes get a free reroll. Freddie, what do you do? I uh, look around to see what the hell happened. Okay, Freddie's kind of blocking the exit as is McKay. Uh, you see the bucket rotate around. Freddie, give me a spot hidden roll at half. Seeing through this bucket is hard. McKay, what do you do? I point at him and yell out, what is your problem? 
And Kelly, what do you do? I do, do a somersault at the back of my chair. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <how about it? laughs> uh, take my reroll. Yes. And uh, and I take right. a card. <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, did you make your roll there, Freddie? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, right, you see the uh, 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 Joker guy go, tch, tch, and he goes, <laughs> and he starts aiming a rifle at you, Freddy. Where are the cards? Uh, you, there sound, uh, sounds like there's a lot of uh, people getting really upset about shit and sounding uh, whistles and stuff like that. It'll probably take him two or three rounds to uh, uh, figure out what's going on and start heading that way. You should be fine. And next round. Uh, heroes are first taking covers approved. That's what I'm doing. I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> I want for cover. Okay. Uh, give me a maneuver roll to get behind a tree over there. If you make it, you put them in uh, negative 30. And Pete, what are you up to? Um, jumping out the window. Excellent. Give me a jumping or acrobatic roll, depending on what kind of style you'd like to do. The window's open, so yes, I mean, if you fuck it up, you may go really high and smash through the glass at the top, but that would be a bad roll there. Jump. And Kinley, you're standing on your feet. There's a cabinet of alcohol nearby. It's closer right. now that you've rolled out. I maneuver to take cover behind the cabinet of alcohol. Excellent. You take you, you squat behind the cabinet. You don't even need a roll. I was trying to get for a card. Uh, yeah, but taking cover is approved. You don't need to roll for it. Just oh, take okay. cover. Um, right. How do you uh, doing? Got, oh, yeah, sorry, doing? got to play immediately. Ooh. Uh -huh. Disappearing book. Nice. Freddie loves those. Yeah. Anything? Okay. I'll make sorry, I don't. I don't have a book, so it's whatever. Yep. Okay, and for his round at negative 30, the bad guy goes, I guess you're going to kick the bucket, and he shoots Freddy. <laughs> Bang! Says the bucket as Freddy takes six points of damage. Uh... <laughs> yeah. That hit with a negative 30? Yep. Wow. That's a good shot. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, I have an opponent fails if you want, Freddy, but six. Is uh, not I have one too, though. Okay. Yeah, Freddy, Freddy likes the pain. Ah, the hot kiss of steel. How you've missed it. Next round. The guard, you hear uh, guards running around, and the door next to Kinley bursts open. Save the ambassador! <laughs> and heroes are first, uh, villains are second, and wit is approved. Um. So did I notice that he took two rounds to reload that rifle to shoot and to load and shoot? He didn't really mess. He 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 made a gesture, but he really didn't do anything. Uh, while in cover, can I see if it's a semi-automatic rifle or a revolt? Uh, you stick your head out of cover so that you can look more carefully. <laughs> As you yeah. show you like you know, negative thirty is put the most vital part of yourself out of cover so you can try to tell what kind of weapon you're gonna put in there. I mean, I have put my head back in afterwards. Yeah, um, but you're really squinting. Yeah, hey, yeah, you think it, it it's hard to tell it's too far away. If you had binoculars, you can tell it's definitely a rifle from here, but you got a quota, I can't tell. Okay. Uh, definitely some sort of rifle. Uh -huh. It's brown. And Pete, what are you up to? I'm sprinting towards him. All right. Go ahead and give me a sprint roll. You keep track of your distance. It starts at 100 meters. And okay. Kinley, what are you up to? Save the ambassador. Save the alcohol. I hugged the <laughs> alcohol cabinet. Take Will someone card. think of the alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Run sprinting is what I'm looking for. Right, and McKay goes flying across the round. This round, villains auto drop. Whoop! And the rifle just pops out of his grip and he goes, butterfingers. <laughs> and they 
jump off the wall so that uh, he is now, there's a wall now between you guys and him. The rifle's on your side now. You, you hear him go, shit. Okay. And we uh, essentially are out of combat. Um, McKay goes sprinting across the, the grass and he's got these big rhino guys chasing him. And let me check their general running roll because uh, McKay is a fast motherfucker and I know what Kinley's doing. They're right the hell behind you. And as you're like grabbing hold of the wall, they grab you and they're trying to like get you off the wall and save the ambassador and try to kill on you. grapple roll. Yes. Grapple roll as they try and grab me. Oh, all right. No problem. They've got this. Uh, I'm going to run off that. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> Grab your <laughs> ass and pull you back to the end. Hey, do you want to pen fail? What? Do you want to pen fail, Zip? That's all right. <laughs> it's going to be they long gone. They're really it's good. Like They're really something. good when it comes to the ambassador. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, right. they haul back the struggling ambassador. <laughs> down through the hall. I will yell out I will, as I'm getting dragged off. I'll yell, Aeolus, grab the, check the rifle out. Oh, that. Oh, Who the hell's Aeolus? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. All right. And so, uh, right. It, it, it takes about an hour for uh, uh, McKay to escape the uh, um, uh, downstairs vault that the guards put him in. And then they sweep the grounds to make sure that everything's fine. And eventually they let him out and they, they go back to their rigor posts and stuff. They doubled the patrols and stuff now. Uh, you, check, you check out the rifle um, and it Looks like it's a modern rifle that's been made to appear to be an old timey rifle. Mm. So it's semi automatic. Yep. And um, Kin mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And Kinley, uh, give me an alcohol tolerance roll as the, the, well, I would say the temptation is there, but it really isn't even a temptation. It's just a, like a job to you. No problem. I, Okay, and you guys eventually return to your previous places and stuff uh, with uh, 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 Freddie. He's got some blood coming out of his bucket, and he's sitting there with a rifle. And Is there a uh, serial number on this rifle? Uh, yes, yes. It's got a random number on it. That, yeah. Um, when you say modern, you mean like nowadays, like 2020? Yeah. Yes, although it's been disguised like uh, at more than a couple feet away, it would look just like the rifles here. Um, and we find these in Shermer? No, if you custom make it in Shermer. Okay. What was the um, what was the uh, uh, will will for magic in this place? Uh, times five times, times three. Two, I think. Times, times two. two. Oh, shit. Magic is hardening. Wow. I think it's not happening too. against magic. Well, hold on, let me double check to make sure that they're right. So it may not be times two. It may be even worse, depending on the speed of it. Well, it used to be times three, so. Checking. I don't know. It's the times two currently. Yeah. And Kinley's like. <laughs> 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 And we, we, we can find this somewhere. Ah! Okay. okay. Wait, it's just the three of us. Yeah, I don't know, but... Did either of you bother in the hour I was gone to uh, check out the dead body? I didn't mean, the fun. I don't know. There's, there's a corpse laying literally <laughs> next to uh, uh, where Freddy is currently. The, it looks you know like the guy that was shot at the window? I mean, I probably would have done that in the hour that we were waiting around doing. Yeah, you were, you were, you were completely distracted by the rifle, and you'd completely forgotten about that guy. If you'd remembered, then you'd have tried to suck the rest oh, yeah, of right. it out. Pete, take uh, a card. So five, five hit points back, Freddie. Thank you. Yeah, cool. I'm almost back to normal. Well, I wouldn't say that. You're almost fully healed. Yes, normal. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Speak, speaking of which, um, I'm gonna lie down now. I'm, oh yeah, I'm pretty much dead. What? The party oh, no. 
so fronted. I'll help the pun. <laughs> uh, uh, I just, uh, you just remind by yeah helping healing Freddie. Just reminded me of the state I was in at the end of last session. <laughs> wow, he's doing that. I'll check the As in, now. I'm barely conscious. That's mm. how bad I am. Yes, he likes running across the lawn while he's barely conscious because he ah, gets the, fumble. There's a fumble. He gets the bloodlust going. He forgets things and he just charges across. Here comes the fumble. Oh, the guys seem to be more interested in Freddy than me. So. No problem. Uh, Kinley falls on top of uh, McKay. And he looks at him <laughs> face to face and starts laughing. Like, hey, do you need some refreshments or you okay? Ah, I think, um, yeah. yeah I know, think yeah. the alcohol in my system is getting lonely. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure if this is the kind of party teamwork bonding thing that you really need right <laughs> now. <laughs> if I squirm around, maybe it will help him out. Let me try something. You hope that's your you you hope that's his uh, finger poking into one of your bullet holes there, but you're not sure. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> At this point, McKay, here comes the fumble card, the fumble card, the fumble card. Right, he rolls on top of Matt, <laughs> and he's now face to face. Freddie, you're becoming very concerned that you know uh, you you. You know, unfortunately, you'd once watched a gay video. You thought it was normal porn, but the women, they never came. The I women start, never came, Freddie, and start, this is the same way. I start bench pressing Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Did you show the blood and fluids coming out of him? Like, uh, I, I just slowly uh, turn around and go look at the corpse while they're busy doing that. Unfortunately, <laughs> the bucket is like just down a bit, so you can still kind of. Well, actually, the bucket's helping at this point because it's kind of blocking off some of the view of whatever God. kind of weird pseudo sexual ah. thing they're doing. Finally. Don't, ah. me, don't forget, because, don't forget because you've I, fumbled. I was going to say, use a re -roll. I'm using a reroll. Oh. I've got a reroll. I've got a reroll card. I've got no, two you can't do that one anymore. Um, no, and that's fumbled. why I'm using a reroll card. You fumbled your willpower trying to cast it previously. Ah. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't affect the rolling of that spell. You know, what I mean, don't know anymore. No, as far as I'm aware, if the will you fumble the willpower, you just take a you just take a card. Mm -hmm. You can try again. You take a fumble card. If you fumble the spell, you can't you can't do that spell anymore. I think so, because otherwise people could fumble their willpower and go, I was trying to cast a different yeah. spell here entirely. Yeah, okay. So that's why I've, I've used a reroll on that one, because yeah, I don't okay. want to fumble the spell. Hmm. Ah, God damn it. Need to build why don't up, you build cast up. your normal one? I was say, yeah, you I want to get quits like that. Oh, that's oh. why I did it. Because now I get the next one up, which is always working. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. God damn it. That was awesome. That's what I wanted. Yes, 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 yes. That's the combat one. So I think I now get the once a day, once, cast it in a day, and you can do it all day, which is sexy as shit. Okay. Well, I'm asking, is that right? I don't know. It's they're, on the they're on, they're on the boards. The spell trees are on the boards in order. <sighs> Well, he celebrates, and Yay. maybe Pete gets better. Maybe not. He'll find out. Well, hold on. I can I can roll this particular one because I still cast a spell. So Pete gets a one point. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So which which spell was that you were casting? So what that's that is healing. That's the top one, which is elemental healing, and that's um, the uh, combat last for combat. So I had the um, once ever, and then I got combat, and I thought the next one was D6. You cast it once, and you can throw it all day. Oh, no, I think it goes to D8 once ever or something like that. So really? are you talking about the healing tree or some other tree? Yes. No, but I, I always thought it was the same as the ones for the other, which was... No, no, it's on the healing tree. Let me look. No, I know, but... Okay, well... Let's see, it goes D6. It goes D6 for one combat. Or wait, sorry, it goes D6 once ever, D6 for a combat, D8 once ever, D6 for the day. So yeah, you're up to D8 once ever. 
So Next one. One more. One more. Oh, why does it skip that then? Because uh, it's uh, D6 for the day is more powerful than D8 once ever. It's true. <laughs> All right. Well, got to work on that one then. <laughs> Yay. Which means that you bitches are his new test subjects for oh, yeah. the entire I, day. I have one hit point if you want to know that. <laughs> Let me just yeah, uh, paste. And I think and... Pete is still grievously wounded. So yeah, if you only healed me with one hit point, yes, I am. Yeah, but I, I did. I did it. But Freddy's one hit point is more important than <laughs> Pete's nearly mortal wound. <laughs> it is. I will use the regular healing because I'm better at that. Sure, that may well. No, I would start using your new D8 uh, thing because you may get a crit on it, and you've got your reverse dices. I haven't even got my. I haven't got all the information put in yet. Okay, hold on. Just make uh, sure the MP is correct. The rest isn't important. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to make sure I put in. Is it f six? I guess it's more because it's D8. Where can I not find the fucking spells on this tree? Uh. Spells, 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 well, spells. Pete did tell me he was hiding them from you on purpose. Right. Everybody else was able to find them, but when you log into the board, it does a special subroutine. It does. It hates mm -hmm. me so no, it's, much. it's very easy to set stuff up so that you know, particular you particular user IDs can't see a section of the board. Mm. What? Why is? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Did some help there, man? Yeah. Yes. Just tell uh, them how it would be just uh, uh, okay. I looked like at the healing you... spells and it wasn't healing spells, it was only the healing tree. Eh. Right. So the yeah, top so, one. Yeah, it's so uh, looks like it hasn't actually hasn't actually been added. No. I'm assuming they're all the rank ten. That's the boom boom spell tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're written up, but for some reason when people put them they haven't is, does uh, anyone just know what the magic const is for the? Day? Yeah, it's hold on, it's yeah, it's they're, they're further down in the post. Elemental. Uh, uh, elemental damage day. Elemental I damage. I think it's damage. four. I think it's still four. four. I think so. Depends on if it's the combat or the in, or the entire. You've got one shot in. One shot is day. four. Combat is six. That's right, and day is eight. Yeah. Cool. So now that you've managed to befuddle, oh wait, here he's still working on healing you. <laughs> Which one are you working on healing? Mortally wounded guy or mortally, mortally wounded guy? guy? But Freddy does have a minor scratch. Ah, oh, oh, god oh, damn. Like, no, like, close. Oh, well. This has got a check in it. So D8. Yeah, okay, what another D8. one, right? Seven. Oh. Ah. Yeah, you're gonna have to change the name on Elemental Healing OE to D8 once a day or whatever it is. Are you are you healed up yet, McKay, or do you need more healing? He's only healed eight points. I was one point off death. <laughs> Still mortally wounded, I'm afraid, Matt. I no, I'm about, no I, I don't. I don't have a. My willpower's not that big anymore, so that's half. That's um two thirds healed. Uh, you managed to push his spleen back in, but you you still don't like the deep lacerations and stuff that you were putting your finger into earlier. All right, there's another six back over time yep that's done mm. thank you i'm fully healed as he uses a wide variety of healing techniques you wow. see freddie making puppy dog eyes at you through the holes in his helmet i'm busy with the corpse <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's doing. so the corpse i'm assuming the corpse did not disappear then the uh corpse did not disappear it appears to i uh, now that you're looking at it freddie there's no id etc but the person was dressed in a modern business suit, circa 90s, 1990s-ish. Okay. No ID I mean, or anything? 
absolutely nothing on it. Okay. Lots of blood though. Jesus Christ. It's like it, it looks, looks like his head literally exploded. Any tattoos or anything like that? No, no identifying marks or features. He no. did have a uh what's it called when you get your nails done? A um manicure. That's the one. Pedicures for feet. Yes. Well, do you want to pull off his shoes and socks and see if he had uh, I'm all right. Okay. I've had a pedicure before. And a manicure, yeah. so I had a mani pedi. I'd blow this to All right. He tells you guys about the voices in his head once having a mani pedi. Um okay. So is it a tailored suit or off the rack? Ah, uh, give me an appraisal roll, Freddie, as you look at him uh, with your big rawr, drawn on mouth on your bucket. Uh, uh, it's a suit. There you go. All right. Um, Do you want me to throw it in there for you? I can look over the window. So I, can, <laughs> I can, you know, just climb over the windowsill and look myself. You could literally just stick your head out and look down if you wanted yeah, to. Yes, I know, but I wanted to. Point. But then I'd have to tell Freddy what what to do, what to look at. So I shall climb out and look inside, like look in the jacket, look at the labeling and stuff to see if it's... Ah, excellent. Uh, no problem. You uh, do so. And it uh, says that it, it's a very nice suit uh, in the labeling and stuff when you like go and like, it looks like the labeling has been made to be obscured, but you know where to look. Give me an appraisal roll, Pete, just so I can have you roll the same thing that I had Freddie roll to know about suits and shit, but you'll still get the name of the person who made it. Oh, I will Definitely is a suit. re-roll card. Oh. And appraisal, appraisal, appraisal. Yep, make it. Hey, it's a it's a very expensive looking suit, several thousand dollars. According to the logo on it, it says Kingsman. Fuck. You hear Freddie muttering from beneath his bucket. You see, Kinley has uh, found uh, some low stool next to him. It looks like it's just at the right height if you wanted to put one foot up slightly in a dramatic fashion, Kinley, you could do so. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to well, check out... Bottle of rum. I'm no problem. Check out this gentleman's shoes. Hand-tooled, uh, leather, possibly Italian. Okay, so there's no false bottoms inside them anything like that no okay that'd be really cool if there's a fucking phone in one of them that's why i was checking mm -hmm. it's not the first time not the first time that you found a phone in a shoe that's right okay i'm guessing you didn't recognize his face before it blew up not that i can recall i'm assuming i did not recognize his face I you know it wasn't like oh it's you uh, it wasn't that but you only got the briefest of uh hmm? before it went yep 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 okay um well I know where the Kingsman Taylor doesn't you know where one of the Kingsman Taylors are. well one of them is there yeah. yes in Fury. six um the does it does it have a often they'll have a location as well as the brand what they'll often have a location like kingsman of ah, no, london or you doesn't know say. that sort of thing doesn't say all right yeah. oh, of guri so okay have you tried waking up from your coma have I tried waking up from my coma? No, I have not. You said you were in a coma, so... Yes. Logan, I tried to wake up from my coma. How? I forced my... I closed my eyes, and I imagined myself waking up somewhere else. 
God, that would be nice, you think. You miss your doghouse so much. <laughs> no, but that, that, that's actually exactly what I was thinking of doing. <laughs> well, that, that, that's the way you, if, if, if you're dreaming and you realize you're dreaming, one of the, I, I know for myself, if I close, I can then close my eyes and open them and it actually causes me to wake up. Oh, if I if I realize I'm dreaming, then I just go fucking nuts. <laughs> well, yeah, it depends. It depends on the dream. It depends on what's everything going on. Inside. <laughs> oh yeah, you go find the scary monster and you just fuck the shit out of it. It doesn't go <laughs> fucking like that. So, a quick question, just to clarify this, Logan, is the healing different then to the other boom boom trees? Uh, no. maybe. I. Uh, like I said, uh, here, let me read off what I've got. It's just on, on the boom boom tree, and it's saying it's the same for healing. It does go one shot, entire combat, day, D6. Then it goes. That's just how they're one listed shot, in that. Entire oh, combat. no, that, yeah, that's just well, how they're yeah, listed um, for, because it's easier to read. But the way it goes on all of them is hurl magic, okay. D6 once ever. D6 for combat, D8 once okay, ever, D6 okay. for the D day, D8 gotcha. for combat, D8 for the day. Gotcha. And at that point, yeah. you've achieved maximum studliness at D8 for the day. Yeah, if, if you check the oh, image two, three, at the four, top five. of the spell tree, hmm. it, it's got it's got the actual tree there listed with the description. Cool, gotcha. Yeah, um, but don't worry, it gives you more shit oh, yeah. to strive for because you so love does. striving for more uh, shit. Logan, does he have a belly button? He pulls up his shirt, and you're beginning to wonder, McKay, where this is going <laughs> for. He hasn't done what I was expecting him to do. So I mean, I his dad just doesn't that. do that. That's, that's true. Uh, you, you were wondering if you had to call in some sort of special victims unit or something and uh no problem yeah he's got a belly button all right okay. um take yeah check his check yeah we'll check him for tattoos and stuff as well mm. now uh, okay he's now naked you've got a bloody suit off to one side it's pretty much not salvageable blood doesn't come out of clothes worth of fuck unless you use your cleaning spell on it then it's a perfectly good suit mm-hmm I don't know if it'll fit anybody here, but uh, yeah. And I, uh, Kinley, are you wanting to go change clothes or something? You mentioned you don't like clothes like this anymore. Yeah, no. Yeah, I um, go and get into my um, uh, black robes. Got it. <laughs> he comes back dressed as uh, pretty much like death. Well, you're a monk now or something, are you? Uh, he's kind of a zombie. Kind of. Ooh. He took the sword, by the way. Okay. <laughs> uh, he, yes. He took the what? The cursed sword, the evil sword. Oh, okay. It's so. It's full of extra cursy goodness. It will oh. turn him into an undead eventually. By the way, speaking of extra cursed uh, deadliness thing, hold on a second. Uh, Evan, where the fuck did I put it? Evan Blade, there it is. Um, okay, you pick up the first power of Ebon Blade. Well, the first curse thing of Ebon Blade. Um, let's see, because this is the first session. Uh, right. Let's see if it starts melting. Um, now, by the way, unforeseen effects may take may happen with all this different shit. Uh, your mileage may vary depending on where you're at, etc. Sure, sure. FYI. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, now if if there's any stun damage, you don't take it. If it's half and half damage, you take the real shit, but not the stun shit. Holy shit. Stun damage is something that you now ignore. Fuck hell. Wow. That's it. Man. Oh yeah, the first one's nice for some reason. Hmm. I was ready to get boned. Oh yeah, the boning will come. Fear yeah. not. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't expect nothing else. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, okay. Well, um, mm. he apparently knew you somehow. Oh, by the way, Matt, every time you play, it's uh, your job to remind me to advance you on the uh, uh, sword tree thing. Cool. Gotcha. Cool. Otherwise, if I forget, meh. 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 
All right. Well, hmm. Well, There's a be. knock at the door. Yes. Uh, w one of the miscellaneous butlers. This is actually one of the refugees who was like, mm -hmm. I'd like to be a butler. And then they turned him into a fucking butler and got him trained up a bit and all that. He says, excuse me, sir. Uh, there, There is a, uh, a, a small party under the flag of truce uh, here for a parlay with uh, Freddy. Shall I send them around back, sir? Uh, a small party from who, where, how? Uh, they did not say, sir. Uh, they, one of them uh, has a uh, uh, flag that has a unicorn on it. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Um... Shall I send them around back, sir? Yes. Very good. Close the door. I just thought it's hyperventilating. Oh, um, and... Also, could you please get somebody to fetch a stretcher? He's already gone. All right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Okay. The fridge? Fine. No problem. Uh, three guys come wandering around the corner, uh, led by the butler, who technically makes four. They're walking toward Freddy. These guys are doing the slow, badass walk. All of them uh, look like they are just nobody to trifle with. One of them has a small stick with a white handkerchief on it. You two can't really see this well because you're inside. Although, if you uh, oh, since Freddy's standing, I was standing, outside. No, my head is outside. I was outside. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Really you see it fine. And uh, Matt, if if anybody attacks uh, Freddy or his head falls off or something. You'll be able to see it just fine from in here next to the liquor cabinet. Mm. <laughs> I get the popcorn out. <laughs> no problem. Uh, they, they advance to within uh, uh, like three meters of you and stop. And the guy says, I, I am Alberta. Albert, sorry, Alberta, was it? Alberta. Oh. Uh, I am one of the squires for Benedict. Benedict uh, is busy at the moment, so he is not able to claim personal satisfaction. He is currently at war with three different shadows, having launched a surprise attack on all three of them simultaneously in order to test a new tactic or something. Uh, I'd asked Benedict uh, if we should claim your blood. He said that his son was a bit of a dick. So... <laughs> He will settle for your hand. In marriage. Uh, is that all? Benedict wants to marry him. That's interesting. Uh, literally his hand. Who are you? Says the uh, guy too. Joshua McKay. Ah, you are not Freddie. Um, no. Could you remove your bucket so we're sure we're dealing with the correct individual? Please? I lifted up momentarily. He looks at the picture. Fine. Play back he says, now. your right hand. Uh, if you chop it off and give it as a uh, symbol of uh, uh, apology, then the matter shall be put to rest. And I have Benedict's word that this will be the end of it, yes? Unless you grow it back or replace it in any way? Absolutely. Well, it may grow back on its own. It's not in my if control. If if the watchers uh, see it, then it shall be considered uh, a personal insult to Benedict, who will come here to uh, lop your head off and take that. I'm not really able to control whether my arm goes back or not. Oh, regeneration. Ah, not a problem. He has had uh, a problem with that in the past since he has been fighting wars for thousands of years. If you uh, put a uh, metal uh, cap. Uh, cap upon it and have it fastened correctly and whatnot on it so that it is unable to grow back, uh, then you should be fine. Or if it does grow back, have somebody simply lop it off before you begin your day, whichever. And then, Freddy, give me, me a Me, me, me. I'll do it. Hmm. Uh, uh, what? Give me a 
this in a row, Freddie. Listen. Mm hmm. Yeah. From inside the eye, your eye, you hear Benedict. Nope. Roll a d6, add one. You want low, Freddie. You hear Benedict, nope, and then you take six points of real damage as your eye explodes and something really small flies out and just ah. Freddie rolls around on the ground screaming, clutching his <laughs> eye. All, all, all three people ah. board like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you, they, they then look over at his kid like he's laughing his ass. I'm trying to... Freddie's try rolling right <laughs> I'm trying to see. So the thing ma managed to get outside, get outside the helmet. It didn't bounce off the side of the helmet. He has eye holes. If he had twisted his helmet so he couldn't see the horror of it all, it may have literally bounced off. Okay, I'm but, trying to see if I can see where whatever it is goes. It looked like a small streak of like inky blackness or something, and it just sped away like a little tiny meteorite. Okay. Uh, apparently it wanted no part of anybody who pissed off Benedict is your guess. Mm. Yeah, to the point where it's like, torture Freddy? I think not. And it just left. So Freddy's rolling around screaming. The guys are looking at each other like, we await your answer. <laughs> One of them says. And I have um, a day to think about it. Am I? Would you like some refreshments? Hmm. They look. They look at you like a day. No, you have the hour, and we will take refreshments with this uh, individual. McKay, you said your name was. Yes. No. Uh, please lead the way. Mm -hmm. I'll lead them. <coughs> Freddie, you get to stand okay. outside, rolling around on the ground in super amounts of pain, like your eye literally explodes. Your eye is gone right now, like it exploded. Okay. And the guy who could heal it is giggling and laughing and drinking a couple <laughs> feet away. And then though, and then it gets worse for you because then he gets distracted by McKay coming in with these three other guys. I'm not the breaking bathroom. him into the room. Oh, no. right near, I'm leading him away. So ah. that the intent was to lead them away. Oh, okay. So they're not. So I thought you were just going to have a party next to him. No, no, him no, no. The intent is to lead them away. Ah, no problem. Yeah, they're happy to uh, go to uh, the huge withdrawing room or wherever. Yeah, the fuck exactly. Is. Intent is to lead them to like a yes, a, a yeah visit. No yes, problem. Give me, give me an etiquette role, McKay, as you're now moving into courtly society stuff. I'd like minus thirty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these these guys are well mannered. Uh, they're very polite. Um, they they um uh, give me an empathy roll, McKay. And uh, no, not in that role. They they are completely unreadable. They're just true professionals. Meanwhile, Kinley, uh you, you see Freddie clutching his hand towards you like ah, ah, but he's in so much pain, all he can do is scream incoherently. Matt, you need to you Matt. muted yourself, Matthew. Ah, damn it. Oh, Freddie. Oh. <laughs> what have I told you about your exploding eye syndrome playing up at these vital times? Ah, right. Let's see what I can do here. The old exploding uh, eye syndrome. It's a new kind of illness. Wow, what a fucking disease that makes. Ah, oh. fumble. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the fumble card. Oh, yeah, fumble card. Mm. Did you have any money on you, Kinley? Uh, this yeah. is Kinley would. Oh, you actually carrying money again, are you? I did. Yeah. Excellent. Um, any gold on you just fucking. Exp oh, okay. No gold. Cool. I just, I just got Voras dollars. Yeah. Shit, I guess wrong. All right, no problem. And it looks like, uh, yeah, uh, the universe tried to pick your pocket and fucking failed. Hmm. 
bastard. Right. Um, Give me some more fumbles. Let me try another go. Next time okay. I'll get I'll, some more ass money. I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh Here my god. The fumble okay, card. The fumble no. card. <sighs> Let's see if you have no one in your fighting eye. Uh, oh shit. Rule a D20 loss of magic points on yourself. <laughs> nice. I think you may end up passing out here. Might be. No. Yeah, shit. Um, your magic points go down. Meanwhile, um, what do you want? Are you wanting to talk to them about anything? Yeah, yeah. I'll just ask. I'll ask them how things are in Amber at the moment. I haven't. It's been hmm. been a while since I've been there. Oh yes. Uh, well, the the uh, things are going fairly well there. Um, they they you can tell that there's stuff that they are wanting to ask, but their professionalism prohibits them mm -hmm. from asking. So they make small talk with you, and pretty much they're giving the opinion everything's rosy. Give me an empathy at half. Um, <laughs> I, use, I use one of my uh, I use one of my reverse dice, bitches. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no. That's a crit. No. Damn it! That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Okay, so uh, roll your healing on Freddy. <laughs> D eight. Six. Yeah. Yeah, back down to one. <sighs> no problem. You still can't see out of one eye. Hopefully that will. Do you have the regrowth limbs? I do, but it's uh, it's self only. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, good night's sleep may put Freddy right. Otherwise, he's like one-eyed Pete with a clue to the treasure. You can go pirating now, Freddy. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Has, yeah. No, I did make my empathy roll. Has um, Fiona returned? When I was last there, she was not about, and there was concerns about her welfare. They give really, really polite smiles. I am unsure of the give me an empathy roll in half as they are fucking just awesome. No, Oops. not a minus 30, just failed. It, it would say half if you'd made it by half. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Programmed I'm it up it by one. No problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. The screaming elsewhere in the compound has stopped finally. And um, yeah, uh, Freddie, you've probably got like a little less than half an hour left to figure out what you're going to do. I'm yeah. sure that these really badass looking uh, individuals uh, will be happy with whatever your answer is. All right, well, I need to cut my hand off Okay. Okay. Let me just get my scythe out. No, no, no. Do it properly. <laughs> Not the scythe. The what? man in black robes with the scythe is, uh, well, actually, the scythe would be a perfect weapon for it. It may end up cauterizing it as well. And there you go. plus, you can definitely take it off. And you're at a plus 30, minus 30, so you're back to, to zero uh, to hit. You know, so, yeah. He makes whining noises as you pull out a fucking scythe for some reason. You ask somebody to cut off your hand, and then you whine when they can get ready to do it. I don't understand. <laughs> what do you want? <sighs> All right. Let's try fostering. Oh, comes out slowly. <laughs> now he's well, just prolonging the torture on your. You friend. need the willpower first to pull it out. Ah, uh, that's true. That is true. I do need a willpower times two. I might be going bye bye. Yeah. yeah if you fumble, out. it's definitely gone. Bring. I start floating in the air, and I am shrouded in black tentacles or mm. tend tentacles, <laughs> tendrils, <laughs> tendrils, tendrils of darkness. <laughs> Actually, make make the willpower times two roll for that cool effect because ships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goes, I'm back down to ground. This place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. He it lines up, big. and it's the pitch. It just shows Freddie sitting here going. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! 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 
yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, now, you need to do enough damage. Do you remember how many points of damage it was? to? I, literally five, five. Was, I was literally just putting... Five. five. You may as well just write that down, Matt, because oh. Oh, he yeah. had to take off his hand so many times. It's true. So, good luck. So, I was literally just working out all the damage stuff here, but I think um, it's d12 initially, so it's two bumps up would be... Uh, Base. So it's uh, two handed is D8. No, no, it's D10. Okay, I see. And an ice bump is D12. So it'd be two bumps would be D, uh, D6, D8, D8, D8. I think it could do more than that, but I'm, at the moment I'm still figuring out. I'll do two D8. That sounds appropriate right now. You should be able to lop off his hand with that. Yeah, no problem. Ah. No problem. In fact, you took it off close to the. Uh, yeah, Elbow. perfect. No, I'm there. Just take the Okay. I, I, I think I did pretty good there. Look, next time, take off at the wrist. Ah, fuck. It's well, not actually, a fine instrument here. You, you could have given me a saw or something. You're asking me to lob your hand off with a scythe. Come on. You wanted to use the scythe. <laughs> Freddie, give me a willpower times one roll, by the way. Oh, yeah, sorry. You have to also make a... Oh, no, hold on. I need to make a willpower times two. Okay, Freddy, you, you're not going, oh, I, I told you to take it. No, you're uh, rolling around on the ground uh, screaming with blood shooting out again. Uh, um, and don't worry, you, you don't get frozen, so that's good. Yeah, good. You could really use some more medical food. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on it. Let's see if I can do the all-day healing thing. And sorry, I've been really bad because I've been forgetting to have to throw the magic. Fuck. Mm. Oh, well. Uh, and we'll do that from now on. Uh, so, yeah. Come on, 20. Yeah! <laughs> Roll the throw uh, magic. Yeah. Se second reverse dice, man. For what? Oh, God, yes, he could do yeah. that. Oh, good. Bloody hell, I didn't think about that. Depends on yep, if that'll yeah. give you another spell up the tree or not. Well, it, yeah, well, well. it, it would go to D8 for combat. No, if you want to, if you want to, <laughs> yeah. yeah, screw it. You're right. Okay, you've now used up all your reverse dice. Uh, like, uh, uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, roll to hit Freddy as you're throwing yep. D6s at him. Come on, you little bastard. <laughs> So does he have to yeah. do a willpower roll every round he does yep. the fire? Yep. Because his even though it's supposed to go for the whole day, if he fails his willpower roll, it's done. Because mm -hmm. magic here works yeah. like shit. It's like it'd be like having a flashlight and going into a willpower times two uh zone for tech, constantly mm -hmm. going off. Yeah, constantly. Yeah. Even for yeah. Freddy, half the time or more go off, and he's got tremendous good willpower. Although he is rolling around screaming again. So uh, he's calmed down a bit now that you managed to uh, stop the massive amounts of blood shooting out of his uh, stump and all that. Uh, yeah. Uh, There's a six. Uh, now, Matt, keep in mind that there's this this much of a hand laying there on the windowsill. Snap. No. <laughs> I need that. What? <laughs> I hate my arm. Mm -hmm. Did I do the right? Did they specify which hand? Did I? Yeah, take you did the, the right hand. hand. I, I figured, <laughs> Freddie. Well, actually, that's a good question. Freddie, which hand did you want to? Uh, offer the right that? one. They said the right one. They did. <laughs> I, 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 I going, oh there. shit! We would like to offer you both of them. <laughs> All right. So, uh, no problem. And then, Freddie, what are you going to do? You've got. Uh, looks like uh, Kinley has given you a hand. Mm. Uh -huh. I'll go look for McKay and the others. Inside of the embassy? Well, I mean, are they inside or do they go outside somewhere? They're fucking inside. You don't, well, you don't oh. see them in the back lawn. Apparently, he doesn't entertain guests in the back lawn for some reason. All right, I'll wait for them. All right. 
uh, after the appointed hour and whatnot, uh, they you, you guys have been eating those like little fucking finger food things and all that stuff. They're very impressed with your hospitality and uh, conversation and whatnot. And they thank you graciously for it. And uh, one of them puts away his uh, sand timer and says, well, let's see what he has decided. Mm-hmm. I'll also yeah. ask somebody to get a stretcher <laughs> and clean, remove the body and the clothing and Take They'll take care of it. The cold rooms downstairs. All right. No problem. They go marching around the back. Freddie's sitting there with a bloody stump when he's got a hand, and they're like, very well. I'd be sure it does not come back, and we shall not have to. Please tell, oh, please ask uh, Benedict if um, there's anything when I'm open I could do for him in return to make up for this besides the arm i think you'll be happy with this well i would like to still i don't think my... your wishes have any impact upon his thing just send him the message please of course Thank you. I, if you believe it's a good idea they look at you and you see the two of back going <laughs> just take the arm there you go. They they open a box and so you can put it in there and they take it. And he says, of course, uh, if you have some sort of electronic arm or something installed, that will be considered part of a breach as well. Good day. I think they turn and head off. Ah, better do something they, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Well, it's better than having your head lopped off, you think. Especially if Bendik discovered you were somehow alive again, got annoyed, came and lopped it off again, discovered you were alive again, <laughs> got super annoyed. It's like, why are my stats going down every game session? Bendik keeps finding out you're alive and just... True that. True that. 